women and at different stages of life, we do need different supplements. For ladies who are planning to start a family, folic acid is very important because it helps the baby's spine and brain development. We should be taking folic acid as long as we start to plan for babies. For pregnant and breastfeeding mothers, iron tablets are important, fish oil, calcium continue to be important and a multivite probably would help as well. Um, for ladies who are at risk for osteoporosis, those will be late Asian ladies, small size ladies, or and the postmenopausal ladies, calcium and vitamin D are very important for bone health. For postmenopausal ladies or ladies going through menopause, will get a lot of menopausal symptoms. A plant-based hormones, which is a common supplement available, usually would help the symptoms to a certain extent. How far advance uh, before a trip should we see doctor for travel advice? I'll say see the doctor as soon as you're aware of your travel plan. But we do need at least two weeks to give you the necessary vaccinations for, to, for them to work and protect you. So during a travel consultation, the doctor will make the necessary risk assessment. So we'll assess the risk of the trip. So we need to know where you're going to, how long you're going to be there and what you're going to do there. We'll need to do the risk assessments of the traveller. We would like to know your health, any allergies that you have, any precautions that we need to advise accordingly. So it depends on your vaccination history, where you're going, we'll advise necessary vaccinations to protect you against the preventable diseases. Besides vaccinations, what we really need is common sense to prevent certain diseases. I guess to prevent insect bites, wear protective clothing, use insect repellent, um, to prevent certain diseases, safe behaviour, um, safe when you're doing sports, safe sports, protective gear, and as for ingestible uh, food, trans food transmitted diseases, dine in safe places. I believe in moderation. I take things in moderation. I do enjoy my good food, but I reserve the calories for the best unhealthy food. <laughs> so um, I take meats and sweets in very little amount. I take. Um, I often take poultry, fish, and eggs. I take plenty of fish and seafood, and the bulk of my diet will be whole grain, um, fish and veggie, beans and nuts. I do exercise, but I don't do as much as I wish. I'm mother of three young children, so I can only hit the gym once a week. When I do hit the gym, it's me time. I try to do a combination of resistance and cardio training. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do do a bit of stretching. And recently in the media is the seven-minute exercise, which we can do anywhere, um, and it'll only take a short time. I try to push myself to do that. Preventive healthcare is very important. I say this not only because I'm a preventive health physician. Studies have shown that preventive health actually is more cost effective. It's actually cheaper to prevent a disease and to treat the disease early. At Asia Medic, we believe health is a journey. We see ourselves as health navigators and we take pride in helping our clients to navigate their journey of health by using our expertise and experience.